Number six from the Topic 10 Try Your Best test. Rich has 335 pennies. Beth has 58 more pennies than Rich. How many pennies do they have in all? So we know that we have Rich, and we know that we have Beth. Who has more pennies? Who has or who needs a bigger box to hold all these pennies in? And since Beth has more pennies than Rich, Beth is going to need a bigger box, which means Rich has a smaller box. And then this right here is going to be the difference between the two. So. Now that we've visualized our problem, we have our bar diagram, we can go ahead and put in our numbers. So Rich has 335 pennies, and the difference between Rich and Beth is 58. We want to know how many pennies do they have in all. So we have to find out how many pennies Beth has first. And to do that, we have 335 plus 58. Again, I'm going to use partial sums because that's what I like. 330 plus 50 is 80. 5 plus 8 is 13. So Beth has 393. And I want you to notice that they are trying to trick you because 393 is an option. And that's not the correct answer because that's only how many Beth has, not how many they have together. So to find out how many they have together, we've got Beth, we've got Rich, and we want to know what all of it is together. So we have 393 for Beth and 335 for Rich. We have to add those together. So 393 plus 335, 300 plus 300 is 600, 90 plus 30 is 120, 5 plus 3 is 8. So we have a grand total of 728 pennies that they have in all.